magnifica anima mea domino the divine will by the servant of God Louisa Picaretta little daughter of the divine will for private use only meditations for the month of May for the house of the divine will May 6 1930 Louisa Picaretta Fiat JMJ Maternal Appeal of the Queen of Heaven Dearest daughter, I feel the irresistible need to descend from heaven to make you my maternal visits. If you assure me of your filial love and faithfulness, I will remain always with you in your soul to be your teacher model, example, and most tender mother. I come to invite you to enter into the kingdom of your mama, that is, the kingdom of the divine will. And I knock at the door of your heart, that you may open it to me. You know, with my own hands I bring you this book as gift. I offer it to you with maternal care, so that in your turn, in reading it, you may learn to live of heaven and no longer of earth. This book is of gold, my child. It will form your spiritual fortune, your happiness, also terrestrial. 
In it you will find the font of all goods. If you are weak, you will acquire strength. If you are tempted, you will achieve victory. If you have fallen into sin, you will find the pitying and powerful hand that will lift you up again. If you feel afflicted, you will find comfort. If cold, the sure means to get warm. If hungry, you will enjoy the delicious food of the divine will. With it you will lack nothing. You will no longer be alone, because your mama will keep you sweet company, and with her every maternal care, she will take on the commitment of making you happy. I, the Celestial Empress, will take care of all your needs, provided that you consent to live united with me. If you knew my yearnings, my ardent sighs, and also the tears I shed for my children, if you knew how I burn with the desire that you listen to my lessons, all of heaven, and learn to live of divine will. In this book, you will see wonders. You will find a mama who loves you so much as to sacrifice her own beloved son for you in order to allow you to live of that same life of which she lived upon earth. Oh, please, do not give me this sorrow. Do not reject me. Accept this gift of heaven that I am bringing you. Welcome my visit, my lessons. Know that I will go throughout the whole world. I will go to each individual, to all families, to religious communities, to every nation, to all peoples. And if needed, I will go around for entire centuries until as queen I have formed my people and as mother my children who would know the divine will and let it reign everywhere. Here is the purpose of this book explained to you. Those who will welcome it with love will be the first fortunate children who will belong to the kingdom of the divine fiat. And I, with gold characters, will write their names in my maternal heart. See, my child, that same infinite love of God, which in redemption wanted to use me in order to make the eternal word descend upon earth, is now calling me into the field once again entrusting to me the difficult task, the sublime mandate of forming on earth the children of the kingdom of his divine will. Therefore, with maternal care I set to work, and I prepare for you the way which will lead you to this happy kingdom. For this purpose, I will give you sublime and celestial lessons, and finally, I will teach you special and new prayers through which you will commit the heavens, the sun, the creation, my very life and that of my son, and all the acts of the saints, so that in your name they may impetrate the adorable kingdom of the divine will. These prayers are the most powerful because they bind the very divine operating by means of them, God will feel disarmed and conquered by the creature. Confident of this help, you will hasten the coming of his most happy kingdom. And with me, you will obtain that the divine will be done on earth as it is in heaven, according to the desire of the divine master. Courage, my daughter, make me content and I will bless you. Prayer to the Celestial Queen for each day of the month of May. 
Immaculate Queen, my celestial mother, I come onto your maternal knees to abandon myself in your arms as your dear daughter in order to ask of you with the most ardent sighs in this month consecrated to you the greatest of graces that you admit me to live in the kingdom of the divine will. Holy Mama, you who are the queen of this kingdom, admit me to live in it as your daughter, that it may no longer be deserted, but populated by your children. Therefore, Sovereign Queen, I entrust myself to you, that you may lead my steps in the kingdom of the divine will. And as I cling to your maternal hand, you will lead all my being to live perennial life in the divine will. You will be my mama, and to you, as my mama, I deliver my will, that you may exchange it with the divine will, and so I may be sure I will not go out of its kingdom. Therefore I pray you to illumine me in order to make me comprehend what will of God means. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Little Sacrifice of the Month each morning, midday, and night, three times a day, let us go on to the knees of our celestial mama and say to her, My mama, I love you. And you, love me and give a sip of divine will to my soul. Give me your blessing that I may do all of my actions under your maternal gaze. The Virgin Mary in the Kingdom of the Divine Will Day 24 The Queen of Heaven in the Kingdom of the Divine Will A Cruel Tyrant Little King Jesus is brought by his mama and by Saint Joseph into a foreign land as poor exiled ones. Return to Nazareth the soul to her queen, overwhelmed by sorrow. My sovereign mama, your little child feels the need to come to your maternal knees to keep you a little company. I see your face veiled with sadness and a few fleeting tears flowing from your eyes. The sweet little baby is shivering and sobbing he cries. Holy mama, I unite my pains to yours in order to comfort you and to calm the crying of the celestial baby. But oh please, my mama, do not refuse to reveal to me your secret. What is it that is so gloomy for my dear little baby? Lesson of the Mother Queen My dearest child, Today the heart of your mama is swollen with love and with sorrow, so much so that I cannot refrain from crying. You know of the coming of the Magi kings who caused rumor in Jerusalem, asking about the new king. And cruel Herod, for fear that his throne might be overthrown, has already given the mandate to kill my sweet Jesus, my dear life together with all the other children. My child, what sorrow! The one who has come to give life to all and to bring into the world the new era of peace, of happiness, of grace. They want to kill him. What ingratitude! What perfidy! Ah, oh, my child, 
to what extent the blindness of the human will reaches, to the extent of becoming ferocious, of tying the hands of the very creator, and of making itself the master of the one who created it. Therefore give me your compassion, my child, and try to calm the crying of the sweet baby. He cries because of the human ingratitude, because only a newborn, they want him dead. And in order to save him, we are forced to flee. Dear Saint Joseph has already been told by the angel to leave quickly for a foreign land. You, her company, us dear child, do not leave us alone, and I will continue to give you my lessons on the grave evils of the human will. Now, you must know that as soon as man withdrew from the divine will, he broke off with his creator. Everything had been made by God on earth. Everything was his. And man, by not doing the divine will, lost all rights. And it can be said that he had no place on which to put his foot. So he became the poor exiled one the pilgrim who could not possess a permanent room. And this, not only for the soul, but also for the body. All things became mutable for poor man. And if he has any fleeting thing, it was by virtue of the foreseen merits of this celestial baby. This, because the whole magnificence of creation was destined by God for those who would do his will and live in its kingdom. All others, if they manage to take anything, are the true petty thieves of their creator. And with reason, they do not want to do the divine will and want the goods that belong to it. Now, dear child, listen to how much I and this dear baby love you. For at the first dawn of his life, he goes into exile and into a foreign land in order to free you from the exile in which your human will put you, so as to call you back to live, not in a foreign land, but in your fatherland, which was given to you when you were created, that is, the kingdom of the supreme fiat. Child of my heart, have pity on the tears of your mother and on the tears of this sweet dear baby as we crying ask you never to do your will but come back we pray you we implore you into the bosom of the divine will which so much longs for you now dear child in the midst of the sorrow for human ingratitude and amid the immense joys and happinesses that the divine fiat gave us, and the feast that all creation made for the sweet baby, the earth became green again and flowery under our steps to give homage to its creator. The sun fixed on him, and singing his praises with its light, it felt honored to give him its light and heat. The wind caressed him. The birds, almost like clouds, alighted around us, and with their trills and songs made the most beautiful lullabies for the dear baby to calm his crying and favor his sleep. My child, since the divine will was in us, we had power over everything. So we arrived in Egypt. And after a long period of time, the angel of the Lord told Saint Joseph that we should return to the house of Nazareth because the cruel tyrant had died. So we repatriated to our native lands. Now, Egypt symbolizes the human will, a land full of idols. And wherever the little child Jesus passed, he knocked down these idols and cast them into hell. How many idols the human will possesses. 
idols of vainglory, of self-esteem, and of passions that tyrannize the poor creature. Therefore, be attentive. Listen to your mamma, as I would make any sacrifice never to let you do your will, and would lay down even my life to give you the great good of living always in the bosom of the divine will. The soul. Most sweet mamma, how much I thank you for making me comprehend the great evil of the human will. Therefore I pray you, for the sake of the sorrow you suffered in the exile of Egypt, to make my soul go out of the exile of my will, and to make me repatriate to the dear fatherland of the divine will. Little Sacrifice Today, to honor me, you will offer your actions united with mine, in act of gratitude to the Holy Baby, praying him to enter into the Egypt of your heart in order to change it all into will of God. Ejaculatory Prayer My Mama, enclose little Jesus in my heart that he may reorder it all into divine will. You have reached the end of day 24 of the Virgin Mary in the Kingdom of the Divine Will.